We pity your pathetic dependence on this web video for your weekly news, but here we go anyway. Workers at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant are struggling with yet another problem. They found contaminated water leaking from a tank inside a new filtering system. Officials at Tokyo Electric Power Company say they discovered the leak during an inspection on Saturday. TEPCO has been testing the filtering system since March. It can remove almost all radioactive materials. The officials say the leak occurred in the welded section of a storage tank that holds radioactive water. They say the water has dripped into a pan below, but has not leaked outside of the filtering system. Contaminated water has been building up at the plant at a rate of hundreds of tons per day. TEPCO wants to use the new system to decontaminate it, but it has halted tests to investigate the cause of the leak. Well, that was it. It's all downhill from here, bud. These make me look angrier. Let the people know I don't like them. Environment ministry officials in Japan are turning to experts for advice on their plan to store dirt and other contaminated debris uh, contaminated by the 2011 nuclear accident. Workers have been removing topsoil from the ground in Fukushima in their effort to decontaminate the area. Now, the government plans to construct intermediate storage facilities in three towns near the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The debris will be kept there until final disposal sites are built. But some residents are against the idea because they're concerned about high levels of radiation. In response, the Environment Ministry is assembling panels of experts to confirm the safety of the plan. Geologists will check the ground under the site to make sure it's stable. The experts will also give advice on the structure of the facilities as well as safety measures. Another panel of experts will discuss how to conserve the environment around the sites. The panels will hold their first meetings before the end of the month. A single watermelon has fetched more than $3,000 at an auction on the northern island of Hokkaido. The watermelons are known for their dark skin and sweet taste. They're popular gifts. 35 of them went under the hammer at a wholesale market in Asahikawa City. The highest bidder paid roughly $3,200 for one. We carefully examined the quality of the watermelons. We're very confident about offering them to customers. I paid about $3,000. I hope they can have more good harvests in the future. Experts say unseasonably cold weather at the start of spring delayed growth, but they say the watermelons became as sweet as usual after the temperature rose. Shipments will peak around mid-July. That's the summer gift season in Japan. It's enough to make you sick. I really wouldn't know, sir. I'm just a servant. Yeah. On the other hand, go screw yourself.
Iran's president-elect has promised to follow what he calls a path of moderation. Hassan Rouhani laid out that path in his first news conference since winning the presidential election on Friday. He said the first step will be showing greater transparency. We will resume negotiations over our nuclear program with six global powers. I believe a breakthrough can only be achieved through dialogue not through threats or sanctions. U.S. and European leaders imposed strict financial penalties last year to encourage the Iranians to abandon their nuclear program. Rouhani said what he called an old wound needs to be healed. But he said his government would not halt the program. He called on U.S. leaders to recognize Iranians' right to use nuclear power for safe domestic uses. Rouhani is expected to be sworn in early next month to replace outgoing President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. The Japanese government released this year's white paper on energy. It's calling for research over several decades into new energy sources. Officials emphasize the need to commercially develop methane hydrate, also known as flammable ice. Japanese researchers in March extracted gas from methane hydrate in the seabed. They were the first in the world to do so. The government officials also said Japan should develop technology for thermal power generation. And they said Japan must learn from U.S. successes in tapping shale gas. They explained that technological progress has transformed the gas from unprofitable in the 1990s to commercially viable now.